Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter 46 from Two Worlds, a novel of friends and foes from strange places by Laura T. Lee. Before I start reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 46. After school, Lily grabbed her backpack and took the bus home. She went up the stairs in her apartment building to the third floor and went inside her room. Her mother greeted her with a hug. How was school? She asked. It was fine, mom, Lily replied. For a second, she was tempted to say, oh, I was abducted by some elves, but I'm fine now. I was in a war, mom. Your father called. He and Peter are staying in Canada for a couple more days. Lily's mother said, of course, dad was still on his work trip and Peter was still with him. Okay. Oh, and you just missed the visitor. Lily's stomach lurched. Visitor? Mm-hmm. Young woman wearing a purple dress. Is she a friend of yours? Lily tried not to throw up. Uh, yeah, she answered. Her name's Teresa. You know what? I'm going to take a walk. See you soon, Mom. Lily walked out of her room and started down the stairs. On the second floor stairs, a voice sounded behind her. Dear, can you help me? An old woman stood halfway down the stairs, holding out her hand. Sure, Lily smiled. She extended her hand and the woman grabbed it. The old lady's grip was like iron. Lily tried to shake her hand free without success. Hey, she said, let me go. The woman straightened, becoming younger, her clothes turning into a simple purple dress. Hello, Lily, Teresa said. What are you doing here? Lily demanded. The sorceress queen smiled. I am only here for a warning, she said. What? Lily asked. Teresa whispered in her ear, watch for the others. My sister can be quite dangerous when she wants to be. With that, she vanished into gray mist. Lily knew instantly she was talking about Tara's and the others' families. But since when did Teresa have a sister? Well, you came back quickly, Lily's mother said as Lily opened the door. I was feeling tired, so um, I'll just stay home, Lily answered. It was hard sleeping that night because Lily was sure that Teresa would come back for her. But eventually she decided to give in and she closed her eyes. The next morning, Lily was working on her math assignment in school when her teacher suddenly said, Okay, class, say hello to our newest student. Since these are the last five days of school before summer vacation, she's only visiting. And then she'll join the school like everyone else. At that moment, the classroom door opened and a girl came in. Lily had never seen her looking so serious before. Why don't you introduce yourself? The teacher said. My name is Juanita. I am from California and I like dogs. Juanita said. Her voice was monotone as if she were a computer reading a book. Well, thank you. Lily's teacher said. 
There's an empty seat next to Lily. You can sit there. Lily, Winida, try to get to know each other. Winida walked stiffly to her desk and sat down. During lunch, Lily and Winida sat at an empty table. Somehow, Winida had a ham sandwich with her. As they were eating, she said, that was embarrassing. You did fine, Lily assured. How did you get here anyway? When Ida turned to face Lily, I know Teresa had something to do with it, but otherwise, I just ended up here somehow knowing what to do, she groaned. I might never see my family again. Jake's at the Empire State Building. Also, you could be more cheerful than this. The school bell rang and they headed to their next class. As they walked up the stairs, Winida whispered, I'll be more cheerful if I live through geography class. After school, Lily introduced Winida to her mother, saying that she would be staying for a while. Her parents are working in England, she explained. Lily's mom gave Winida the guest room and said she would let her stay for the weekend. When Lily's mom had gone to sleep, Lily went to Winida's temporary room. Be careful, she said. Teresa told me to watch out for her sister. Winida's face went pale. There could only be one reason why Sophie is on earth. She wants revenge on Teresa. For what? Sophie locked her own sister in that prison to keep her from destroying her ever-growing city. Now that Teresa has broken free, she wants to track her down and capture her again. Lily thought for a moment. But how can I tell who she is? She pressed. Her magic is gray, like Teresa's. She is the most powerful in her family, more powerful than Teresa. Sophie will stop at nothing to capture Teresa, but she'll want you as a prize if she's in a good mood. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for chapter 47. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.